Uh, cheers. This is peach. Warm tea. So, this video is about my decision to remain in England until the day that I die. Um, as I put my tea in, this design I don't like of this blouse, but it keeps, I need to re uh, find a seamstress. Kettle and tea as I drink and as I discuss this important issue. Uh, I was contemplating, um, I was contemplating of leaving England and um, I'm going to carry on drinking my peach tea uh, because I don't know how to put this across um, so that everyone will understand that is interested. Um, some people will say that England is the most racist country in the world, however, and probably the most antichrist country in the world. However, I have found respite. I have found no, I have found an escape in England, even though um, uh, I have been extremely and severely persecuted. Uh, I, I was unassuming, however, now I, I am 100% um, convinced that I don't um, know how to say this. Um, <sighs> that the great honour which is held for the authorities as a result of them as capitalists, quote unquote, um, have come forward to separate mother and daughter, totally discredit me. Um, so this is their reward. Um, I had doubts that it had anything to do with them being racist. And uh, no one could no one could convince me until the holy angels have persuaded me it is a racist issue. It's such a almost perfect cover up to say that it is not racist. And uh, I am filled with awe and amazement how the holy angels has revealed something to me. Um, that I want to uh, let the whole world know. I'm annoyed with this design of this top that I have today. Uh, however, I have no choice but to keep hiding it. It's a frilly design that looks like a snail uh, or slug or some type of... I don't like it, um, so I keep covering it up. I do like the, I do like the ripples, but not the snail pattern, the snail design. <laughs> so I have a, a huge task to find a seamstress and a, a list of barristers that hopefully are not corporate businesses for people who are employed that they will support people that are unemployed so I have a huge task to find my destination for family law 
and to rebuild my life after they have destroyed so much under the disguise of family guarding, family safeguarding. Uh, I was never involved with adult uh, safeguarding. Uh, I was in a vulnerable family unit uh, after I had an accident with my spine. I injured by accident and they've put me deliberately in the wrong category. And this is how they managed to destroy everything in my life. And um, so I have been alienated and estranged from my daughter. And how I'm going to use the detail in this video to look at the magic, uh, in other words, witchcraft, the spell that they use, the number of them, the majority of them, to practice this collected magic through false files, misinformation, misguidance, um, that they have collected. It could be from 2008 until 2022, collected their books on me to find a way to put me in the bad books. And they succeeded by being cruel and calculated against my race. Thousands of misinformations, bits and pieces about me that I had no idea what was going on behind the scenes. Um, and how they spread uh, a, even a community by by saying that I could be dangerous because of a, a minor personality disorder. Um, that could be a major thing. I could be uh, a full blown psychosis and all this nonsense that has they have widely used successfully in Hertfordshire against me in the most powerful way where they have abused their positions of power, which is uh, ter terrifying, really terrifying. Um, so in my conclusion, looking at history and how Jews perished under the control of Nazis, um, I have identified that there are two types of Jews and there are two types of Nazis. And, uh, and so how, how on earth did they manage to join forces and make the, the Jews the same as the Nazis and the Nazis the same as the Jews? In other words, um, they have united so that, that they are no longer a separate tyrant. They're a single, same tyrant. And how on earth has this happened? Oh, that's too hot. Um, uh, so looking at them in the public as a worst case scenario, for example, with Ukraine and uh, the situation of Russia uh, wanting to um, use history as an example to make people believe uh, that they are in the right to legally... Uh, capture Ukraine and um, they're so called the invaders but then um, uh, this is terrifying because I've come to conclusion um, with my analysis that the same worst case scenario was used against me that they've looked at my history to use against me and to capture me uh, in the same worst case scenario 
um, from one episode to the next, from one year to the next. So where does this tactic come from? It, um, and and um, I don't know the answer to that uh, because I don't know much about the history between the Jews and the Nazis. Um, and um, I'm going to find out in this video, hopefully, because they're the blueprint, they're the fingerprint of criminolo criminolo st the study of criminology, criminology and war crimes and uh, another aspect of uh, what causes uh, homicide, ge genocide, and in other words, murders and war violently creating civil unrest and uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity. Is it our race or is it something else that is the position of power that the leaders want, that everybody has to fall down flat on their faces, everyone has to be filled with fear because of the leaders who are in control? So it's nothing to do with the race and everything to do with our history. What causes it? What causes these violence and these uh, civil unrests? And so that's my conclusion so far. So it is remarkable that God has performed a miracle this morning in my mind to look at what the saints in the past times in history, according to the holy books, have done. Um, so their handiwork using s simply their clothing. Even their clothing that was used was there to perform miracles. Touch. Touching somebody with a five or six sense for the truth versus the evil one that touches everybody for the lie with violence, aggression, bombardment. So we can be cured even by having a drink or food and the touch of love. Compare that to someone who is touching us with hate. Uh, fear-mongering and war-mongering. They are evil spirits. So we can be touched by love, hugs, kisses, sexuality, food, drink. All of these things can be used for the greater good to recover, to receive healing and health. But when it is touched, when food is touched by poison and sexuality is touched by abuse, and touched by um, any other type of illness created by the evil forces, uh, obviously there's going to be a sick society as a result. So focusing on our leaders, who is right in pronouncing the name of God? And who are false religious leaders? in pronouncing the name of God and the saints. <sighs> so this insufficiency in them claiming that they have the right to pronounce the name of God when in fact they don't because they are obsessed and possessed about winning. Da -da -da -dum. So this is how I have exposed very bad leaders, extremists, terrorists, and uh, someone that cannot be trusted in the community. Even chief priests who have crucified Jesus. And here it is. Uh, the study of the psychosis of severely mentally sick sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists and murderers, thieves, 
study of crimes, criminology, criminology, and um, <sighs> anyone who is ex who is in in extreme evil spirit. In other words, today we call them sicknesses, diseases. We call them pandemics. We call them. Uh, um all types of fancy names evil spirits even in the filming industry music industry etc even in our fashions evil spirits that are not used to cure the sick they're used to create sickness in society only the evil spirits want to be healthy and seen as good. And God's people are seen as sick. Uh, this is the direct result of the majority refusing to have national repentance and to practice genuine religion. In other words, a routine to have a relationship with God. So to recognize how the saints are doing is to know the saints and to know what the good angels are doing in opposition to the bad angels. This is how we identify what is good and what is bad. Um, I am not saying that it is impossible for anyone who is bad or practicing an ugly spirit, an evil spirit. I'm not saying it is impossible for that individual to be cured totally from sickness. I'm not saying that. They can be cured, healed and helped. But uh, the leaders in the position of power, I would say it is probably more than 50% chance for them to receive help and healing from God. Why? Because they have tasted what it feels like to worship the bad angels. And they are one with the bad angels. They're united with the bad angels. And they, they, these uh, so-called humans could be even more evil compared to the bad angels. Because um, they are living in the time zone of here and now compared to the actual bad angels that are living in the past. So the influence of an evil human being can be greater, more demented and more wicked compared to the actual bad angels who are living in the past. And have had thousands of uh, years to practice their evils. Which makes them an expert evildoer. The bad angel. For they have had more time to practice. Compared to a human being. However. Uh, the bad human being. Who is worse than the actual. Bad angel. Had no time to practice. Therefore. They are less perfect. And are, more, uh, and are going to cause more chaos and disorder in our communities. Precisely because they don't know what they're doing. And that's what Jesus did when Jesus cried on the cross, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. But there are some leaders uh, in the Bible that were totally mad, such as uh, King Neb Nebuchadnezzar, who was confronted by Daniel, he's the example of being totally mad. He he became a, a vegan, he didn't want to eat any meat, he was eating grass, um, he, he grew his nails long, um, he became totally mad and then God cured him from all of this, evil, all these evil spirits. So it is possible. But highly unlikely. 
Now, returning to the subject of me personally, badly beaten up, um, um, my body being affected, my spirit being affected through a system of abuse for the past 16 years plus. They're the invisible enemy. And if anyone else who is not having a relationship with God and the good angels had experienced what I have experienced or still am experiencing, they would probably want to commit suicide or kill someone. Even though I have a right to kill someone, the main individual who has caused it, uh, I would be reluctant in doing it. Because if I was burgled and I did self-defense, I could still end up in prison, precisely because I am unemployed. So even though I could say I look innocent or I am innocent, I have been burgled by someone who is stronger than me and I shot that individual dead, I could still end up in prison because our criminal justice system is being affected by very evil, bad leaders. So I would be reluctant precisely because I'm unemployed. So that I don't go to prison, it, it is better for me to be shot dead than for me to do the shooting. Because I don't want to end up in prison. As the example of the worst case scenario of being burgled, robbed and raped. That's my point. I would, be, I would be better off going to court as a loser than going to court as a winner because uh, my life would be threatened. So I have a list of things to do that are on the top of my priority list to find a family law barrister, not to win, but to make a conclusion as to what my daughter wants and to offer her some counselling that is not used by children's social services and local authority an independent counseling session for my daughter um, but she may refuse because she's now that much older to do it because they've brainwashed her so much so it's not there to make for me to win and say i have destroyed children's social services it is to, there to protect my daughter's rights because they've brainwashed her and they've turned my daughter against me. That's the only reason why I would try and find a family law barrister. For no, for no other reason. Precisely because I don't want my life threatened more than it actually is. On a daily basis, through discriminations, through discussions that are derogatory and uh, continually putting me in the weak position as a weak link or an immature individual who is uneducated. As a result of this wide gap between the rich and the poor, uh, so if I got remarried to a rich man even, my life is threatened and his life is threatened. That's, that's the severity of the corruption with our evil, demented leaders. Uh, and uh, the miracle versus the magic. However, there is one thing I would die for, is World War Three because it affects my children, my one and only. And I'm going to make this decision public as a type of a missionary for Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm making it public to say, The, I'm not going to give any names, I'm just going to make it obvious.
obvious who the bad leaders are and what and who is practicing witchcraft the most which is extremely frightening uh, so I have already said that children's social services have even beaten me up and mental health services and all of these services that are not services at all it's a slave market against the poorest of society to me it felt I was strangled I was drowned and beaten up and blocked from any freedom of speech and they will say hey that's the same as the Nazis and I say yeah well <laughs> it is However, why are so many people saying Nazis, Nazis, Nazis when the Jews can be um, as corrupted as Nazis? There is no reminder, there is no education there is no mainstream media to remind everybody that the situation in Israel versus Palestine, Muslim, the situation between the Muslims and the Jews, is a direct result of the same evil spirit through the Jews that have crucified Jesus. Same influence, same demon spirit founded in, in Jews and in Nazis. Same one. So in this situation, it is nothing to do with the race, racism, and everything to do with the demon spirit, the influence of a bad angel. Because obviously Jews and Nazis are not the same. One originates from Germany, the other one originates from Israel. Likewise, any tyrant in Italy or tyrant in any other place in Europe has a different race, language, yet they all have one thing in common and that is an evil demon spirit or witchcraft. So comparing the two demon spirit, one, that is the spirit of suicide, despair, depression, disaster and death because you're a loser and the other demon spirit is success, satisfaction, be, the attempt to be on the same level as God and the saints when it comes to being a winner, particularly when it comes to Fighting your opponent. And giving you your heart's desires. Now I have said in my heart, I have never had a boyfriend from former Yugoslavia, my native country. But this is how I have managed to trick the fallen angel. Because the fallen angel assumed that that was my heart desire. Now I am exposing the fallen angel, angel and saying, hold on a minute. Former Yugoslavia is not my native country because I have not grown up there. Since I was seven years old, I have been growing in England. So just a minute here. I'm more British than I am Yugoslavian. Precisely because I have been growing here. So wherever I leave my hat, that is my home. Whoever is feeding me and helping me, protecting me, preserving me, pleasuring me, preaching to me about Jesus in all honesty and honour, they are my home, they are my heart. Not the place where I have had 
been abandoned and neglected, which is former Yugoslavia, and have stripped me off of my clothing uh, where I have felt robbed and raped the most. Completely the opposite of the positives. It is everything negative. So this is how I have managed to trick the fallen angels who assumed it is my heart's desire to reunite with my family, uh, to, to find out about my history, my roots, my culture, who I really am. Wrong. Because I am saying that through God and the God's grace and the good angels, anyone who comes to me in the name of God would love my language, my culture and my roots from my story, my life encounter, from my experience as an individual, not in the name of the king and the queen or the politician in former Yugoslavia, precisely because the former politician, my former mother, my former father, my former grandmother and great grandmother, my former sister, formerly known, formerly known, or even relative, is not me. I am my own person. So this is where. It is, uh, this is where I am exposing the fallen angel and its workers to be totally dumb. They hate individualism. They hate people that are separating themselves from government and from their relatives and, and also from the scrutiny of their DNA, where they originate from. Where I began my journey down to the depths of hell. So, uh, if God has a channel for God's grace and mercy for my relatives, that, that will be revealed to me, first of all, not anybody else, second of all. So that's what I'm speaking about, so people understand what it's like to be an orphan and a widow and an outcast in society then everyone will understand, all human beings will understand how it is to be uh, separated from your family and your family who, who, who had nothing to do with you um, and have done an evil type of handiwork against me compared to the holy hands um, through the prophets. Even these prophets that are uh, dead, they're still alive in heaven right now as I speak simply by looking at my Bible that I'm reading here. <sighs> so we all find hell on earth. In Israel and in every country, there is hell on earth, Jerusalem. In every country, so I don't want to only fo focus on former Yugoslavia. I want to focus... On the ability to repent, therefore, the second, first of all, and second of all, to reform in order to remove the evil spirits, which are far greater and more, more powerful than racism itself. Evidently, uh, looking at the Jews and the Nazis and how they seem to have been working together, regardless of their race. It is their same mindset. They think the same, and that is along the lines of winning. <sighs> so, speaking of World War Three, how we have America versus China and Russia, and then you have... Uh, the situation with Ukraine, for example, um, that want people to believe that th what they are doing on both sides, Russia versus Ukraine and uh, NATO, it is a good thing to do. 
in order in, in the spirit of unity not disunity because god wants the same thing therefore the bad angels want the same thing i'm not going to repeat myself in detail i'm just going to repeat this point that i have found and received from the holy spirit whatever god is doing for good in the name of unity the devil is keeping up the four fallen angels the bad angels the rebellious ones in with the bad humans the bad leaders want to do the same thing in the name of unity and that's what causes wars so there's the winner evil spirit, which is more evil compared to the loser evil spirit. So whose side would I be on? Would I be on the winner's evil evil spirit people? Or would I be on the loser's evil, evil spirit people? And the answer to that question, through receiving the answer, through the Holy Spirit and the holy angels, and the Holy Spirit of Christ is obviously I would choose the loser evil spirit, not the winner, because the evil spirit is dispossessable. The winner who, who says I am equal to God or I am a saint when in fact they're not saints at all, they're the manifestation of the devil. They worship the 666. Everybody knows who that is. I don't even have to say they're disgusting names. They're murderers. They're thieves. And uh, um, they're not humble. They're black witches. They were white witches who have progressed into a black witch. That means they were upside down and they have been turned the right way up. But not in the name of God, in the name of the devil. And this is how they're the winners. And this is how they grieve the Holy Spirit. They make me sad in saying that they have found the truth. That they can, they have the power to transform that truth into a lie because they have more money and more weapons, which is disgusting. And this is how the beheading of John the Baptist has happened. This is how all God's people and prophets have been destroyed as a result of these evil leaders that are always choosing the winning side wherever god says i am here to represent holy war the bad angel will come along and say i am here to represent the unholy war which is a fake christ so wherever there is the genuine christ the genuine christ the fake christ would come along and say I have to be the center of attention. I have to be the one who is seen as a tyrannical victim. Totally pushing over the genuine victim. So the genuine victim is not seen, is in the shadows, is blocked. The manhood or the real men are demasculinated. And the same with women, their womanhoods and their woman rights are destroyed, our parental rights are destroyed through a domesticated terrorist. So they, they have copied the situation of what's happening in Ukraine is exactly the evil copycat of what my enemy has done to me. It's a very serious matter that they have said, oh, well, 
children of social services and the oppressing of system has won the battle between good and evil because they have kidnapped my daughter for 10 years to be the good guy and me who has already taken care of my daughter for 10 years successfully I, I am not the hero I'm somebody rubbish so it is an evil hero that has won the battle the good hero who is my life and my Jesus has it has been seen as as the bad guy or someone rubbish so they've seen that and how it has happened they've copied that same strategy and same evil principle in the evil spirit when it comes to creating sort terrorism and everybody knows who that is i don't even have to say it Now they're even calling themselves saints when they're actual actual monsters. I'm not going to say who it is. But they know who they are and they know that I know who they are. And they know that I'm not afraid of them. But the reason why I won't say who it is is because I want to protect other victims or other losers, namely in Jesus. I want to protect them. I don't want them to have a death sentence because I've opened my mouth and used my tongue, my English language, to expose the bad tyrants, the bad leaders. <clears throat> so... As I have said this, my destination is not to return to former Yugoslavia. My destination and destiny is to reject anybody that comes from my native country, that comes from Europe, that includes Greece, Italy, Russia, or anybody else. Why? Because I am an orphan and outcast and because my family and relatives have rejected me. And because they're, they are not in, they are not recipients and they're not representing God. They're representing the fallen angels as a disrespectful copycat of, as a false, as a false Christ. And I'm infuriated with the fact that they haven't received the Holy Spirit. They received demons that are replying, oh, well, we have been baptized. We have had this, but they have not been baptized by the Holy Spirit. Jesus had made it clear we need to be baptized by water as a public witness which is so important, as important as getting married, you have public witness ceremony. That's how important it is to be submerged underwater and be baptised. With water, important to be baptised by fire, the Holy Spirit. That's how I close my video now. Completed.